here's why. In Vietnamese, it's quite common for us to double or to reduplicate words. So the word for same in Vietnamese is yong. Okay, one more time. Yong with a closed mouth. Yong. But we often reduplicate it. Uh, in other words, rather than say yong, we say yong yong. So when a Vietnamese person says same same, they're translating directly from yong yong. So what's the difference in meaning between yong and uh, yong yong? Basically, the meaning is the same. Yong yong à. There may be a slight difference in feeling. Like if you ask one person, um, they probably will say, Oh, I feel like boom boom is actually less sad than boom. But then you ask another person and they will probably say, Oh, I feel like nyan nyan is actually faster or quicker than nyan. So I feel like uh, this this difference the difference is pretty subtle and subjective. You can just treat the reduplicated word the same as the single version. These are from a popular TV show called Yadin La Somo. Family is number one. Um, các bạn ơi, I had to binge watch like 10 hours of this TV show to find these examples. So, coi kỹ kỹ nha. Watch carefully, carefully, please. Okay, here's the first clip. Uh, we're gonna listen, or I mean watch two times. Uh, we will be seeing a girl on her phone ordering some food. See if you can hear the reduplicated word. Em hả? Dạ. À, giao cho chị uh, hai cái pizza hải sản nhiều tôm sen là làm nhanh nhanh cho chị. Dạ. Ờ, của chị hết bao nhiêu tiền vậy? Dạ. Em hả? Dạ. À, giao cho chị uh, hai cái pizza hải sản nhiều tôm sen là làm nhanh nhanh cho chị. Dạ. Ờ, của chị hết bao nhiêu tiền vậy? Did you hear it? It was nhan nhan. Let's watch it again with subtitles. Em hả? Dạ. À, giao cho chị uh, hai cái pizza hải sản nhiều tôm sen là làm nhanh nhanh cho chị. Dạ. Ờ, của chị hết bao nhiêu tiền vậy? Now next, we will be seeing a male teacher. Um, he asked his female colleague to babysit the baby, his baby, and then he went to a party. But then he came back earlier, right? So uh, now he will be saying why he came back early. Uh, we're gonna uh, watch it two times. See if you can hear the reduplicated word. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, thầy Phúc ơi. Ôi, sao tự nhiên thầy về sớm vậy thầy? Ờ, tại vì tôi cảm thấy lo lo trong người, cho nên tôi về sớm. Trời đất ơi. À, dạ ồ ồ thầy phúc ơi ôi sao tự nhiên thầy về sớm vậy thầy ờ tại vì tôi cảm thấy lo lo trong người cho nên tôi về sớm trời đất ơi did you hear it it was lo lo worried worried now let's watch it again with subtitles à, dạ Ồ, ừ. ừ, thầy Phúc ơi Ôi ừ. sao tự nhiên thầy về sớm vậy thầy Ờ tại vì tôi cảm thấy lo lo trong người Cho nên tôi về sớm Trời đất ơi The next clip is uh, a short conversation Between a uh, high school principal With a like medical staff uh, in the high school So uh, basically there was a fire in the high school In that high school and then some students got injured, like slightly injured. 
um, so the um, school principal is asking the medical staff how's the students doing and she's gonna say uh, how she's doing so see if you can hear the reduplicated word Sao rồi, con bé Trang nói sao? Mấy mấy không sao, chỉ bị trầy sơ sơ thôi thầy Ừ Sao rồi, con bé Trang nói sao? Mấy mấy không sao, chỉ bị trầy sơ sơ thôi thầy Ừ Did you hear it? It was Sơ sơ The whole phrase that she said was Trầy sơ sơ Was slightly grazed So sơ sơ here means slightly Sơ sơ is a very useful word and you can use it to mean a little bit or kind of so for example if i'm asking you now um các bạn hiểu lập từ là gì không uh, do you understand what duplicated words are is um, you can say hmm, hiểu sơ sơ yeah i kind of understand it kind of got it now let's watch it again with subtitles Sao rồi, con bé Trang nói sao? Mấy mấy không sao, chỉ bị trầy sơ sơ thôi thầy Ừ We just talked about how do we reduplicate words that have only one syllable like nhan, nhan nhan lo, lo lo sơ, sơ sơ what about words with two syllables? Okay, we're gonna watch two more clips to uh, understand better, okay? Now the first clip, we're going to see a mom complaining about his uh, her son. So her son recently got divorced, but uh, somehow he's still um, being involved with her his ex-wife, and so she's complaining about it. The word she will be using is yay yu, yay yu, meaning being involved with, being uh, tangling with, uh, being stuck with, uh, have something to do with, right? So now listen to see um, if you can hear how she duplicates, reduplicates uh, this word. Nó chia tay với con mình rồi Mà cái dây dây dưa dưa Nó chia tay với con mình rồi Mà cái dây dây dưa dưa Nó chia tay với con mình rồi Mà cái dây dây dưa dưa Ok, did you hear it? She was saying Dây dây dưa dưa Right, so Dây dây dưa dưa Now listen again With subtitles Nó chia tay với con mình rồi Mà cái dây dây dưa dưa in the last clip, we're going to see a girl. Um, so there's a guy um, talking probably impolitely to her uh, in the previous scene. So in this scene, she was like um, telling him that, oh, you're crossing the line. That's a bit much. You're being impolite. You're being rude to me. Right? So the word she using uh, is vừa phải, vừa phải. Now vừa phải means moderate or reasonable, not too high, not too low, not too much, not too little, something in between, right? And you probably see this word a lot with the word price, like yeah, vừa phải, like moderate or reasonable price. Okay, let's listen to see how she reduplicates this word. Oh, it was fast. Uh, did you hear it? It was yu yu phai phai, right? Yu southern accent. So yu yu phai phai, just like yay yay yu yu, đúng không? Um, so 
this is a pretty common expression like, uh, when someone is joking or maybe saying something that you start finding um, impolite or offensive um, this is the phrase you can use uh, vừa phải thôi or vừa vừa phải phải thôi like you're crossing the line or oh, that's a bit much you know um, okay um, let's listen again with subtitles Okay, I hope um, you have learned something about reduplicated words in Vietnamese. Um, hope to see you next time and thank you very much for watching. Come on, và hẹn gặp lại lần sau.